What's your name, please? My name is Archie Williams. I'm Christina Ray. My name is Terry Fader. Why did you want to come back, Cody Lee? To win again! Unbelievable! I'm excited to be here. It feels like home again. Competition like this brings out the best in people. And this was you at your very, very best. Later, Jimmy Fallon welcomes Kate Hudson, NBC Tonight. Ugh, this rental car is so boring to drive. Let's be honest. The rent-a-car industry is the definition of boring. And the reason can be found in the name itself. Rent-a-car? You don't want a friend. You want the friend. You don't want a job. You want the job. The is always over a. That's why we don't offer a car. We offer the car. Sixth, rent the car. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Is that for me? Huh? Oh, can't wait to see what you got your mother. <laughs> the BMW Road Home Sales Event, on now. Receive a credit of up to $3,250 on select models now through January 3rd. NBC4 News at 11 starts with breaking news. Now at 11, outrage, heartbreak, and an outpouring of support for a deputy shot and killed during a traffic stop in Riverside County. He was a jokester around the station, and all of our deputies considered him their little brother. He was 32 years old. Tonight, we are remembering Deputy Isaiah Cordero and learning more about the suspect's extensive criminal record. Good evening, I'm Kathy Vara. And I'm Carolyn Johnson. Deputy Cordero was shot while conducting a traffic stop in Harupa Valley across the street from an elementary school. He later died at the hospital. The shooter took off, leading law enforcement on a high-speed chase that ended in his death. We have team coverage for you tonight. Alex Rozier is live with community reaction to this devastating loss. But we are going to start with Beverly White live. Riverside County has yet to reveal exactly what was the nature of that traffic stop around 2 p.m. right across the street from Rustic Lane Elementary School. I am deeply heartbroken to share with you that we lost one of our own today. With those words, Riverside County Sheriff Chad Bianco confirmed Deputy Isaiah Cordero was shot to death during a traffic stop on a pickup truck on residential Golden West Avenue in Harupa Valley. As he approached the vehicle, the suspect produced a gun and shot Deputy Cordero. A community member who witnessed the shooting called 911. I live right here down the street and all I hear is some gunshots and then all of a sudden you just hear cops going up and down, up and down the street. And I was like, what's going on? So I hopped in my car, came down here. The shooter was gone when Junior Espinoza learned the victim was a deputy. Sheriff Bianco says a massive manhunt tracked the man in the truck on freeways from San Bernardino County back into Riverside County. Deputies were successful with a spike strip near the intersection of Valley Way and the, 15, and the 60 freeway in Harupa Valley. However, the vehicle continued. The sheriff says once disabled, the truck crashed into another vehicle, but the driver was defiant. At the conclusion of the pursuit, the suspect fired rounds at deputies. At that point, deputies returned fire and the suspect was killed. Investigators say the slain suspected gunman was 44-year-old William Shea McKay, a convicted felon out on bail for kidnapping and assault with a deadly weapon. Politician Armando Carmona was here in person with sympathies to the loved ones of the fallen deputy. I can't imagine what they're going through and, and um, you know, want to thank them for, for their commitment and their service to, to our community. And the last word from Sheriff Bianco. Anyone who targets a member of law enforcement in our community will be met with swift action. I want to thank all of the agencies in San Bernardino County and Riverside County for their assistance in locating the suspect. Sheriff Bianco says an extensive investigation is now underway, which will include a review of the slain deputy's body-worn camera. Report and the response to his death. Alex.